Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the dorsal intrusion. So I can see the diagram of the pump here. Uh, we will see the metacarpals first. So from this metacarpals, um, uh, this uh, dorsal intrusion are taking its origin. So we will see the metacarpals of this. So these are the metacarpals. You can see the five metacarpals here. These are the phalanges. And uh, you will see the origin of this uh, dorsal intrusion. So the first dorsal intrusion, remember that unlike the bi uh, palmar intrusion, this dorsal intrusion are bipinnate muscles. So they have two bellies which join together to form a tendon. So this dorsal intrusion, the first dorsal intrusion is arising from the adjacent sides of the first and second metacarpals. So it arises from the adjacent sides of the first and the second metacarpals like this. So first and second metacarpals like this. So first dorsal intrusion um, like this. Adjacent sides of first and second metacarpals like this. So, and what is the insertion? It gets inserted by a tendon into the dorsal digital expansion, like this. So, why is it inserted into the dorsal digital expansion of the uh, second finger or the index finger? Because, so remember that the dorsal intrusion has got an action which is abduction of the fingers it causes abduction of the fingers like this abduction of the fingers that is a function of dorsal intrusion now remember that uh, the abduction of the thumb is uh, uh, performed by the abductor policy so there is no dorsal intrusion which causes abduction of the thumb but uh, there is a dorsal intrusion for the index finger which causes abduction of the index finger from the middle finger you can see this is the abduction of index finger from the middle finger uh, now the, the function of the first dorsal intrusion is to cause abduction of the index finger from the middle finger so the first dorsal intrusion which is arising from the adjacent part of first and second metacarpal gets inserted has to get inserted into the index finger to cause its abduction so this is getting inserted into the dorsal digital expansion of the index finger so it is getting inserted here this is the first dorsal intrusion so this is first dorsal intrusion intrusion so what is the function of first dorsal intrusion it causes ab it causes abduction of the index finger from the middle finger like this so it is getting inserted into the dorsal digital expansion of the index finger so now what is the function of third one so we have seen that for the middle finger there is no adduction movement so for the middle finger there is no adduction but the middle finger has abduction how so the middle finger can abduct radially like this it can abduct radially like this so this this is the radial abduction and this is the ulnar abduction of the middle finger so middle finger has two abduction one is to the radial side other is to the ulnar side so there is two intrusia two dorsal intrusia getting inserted into the middle finger we look that so the second dorsal intrusia so the second dorsal intrusia is for the middle finger and the third dorsal intrusia is also for the middle finger the second dorsal intrusia will cause radial abduction of the middle finger the third one will cause ulnar abduction so so both the second and third are getting inserted into the middle finger so we will see the third one like the first the second dorsal intrusion is arising from the adjacent side of second and third 
metacarpals it arises like this from both the metacarpals it arises so arising from the adjacent sides of the second and third one the second dorsal intrusia tendon is inserted into the dorsal digital expansion of the middle finger only this side because the second dorsal intrusia carries out abduction of the middle finger towards this side towards the radial side so it is getting inserted into the dorsal digital expansion of the middle finger so this is the second dorsal intrusion now we have seen that the third dorsal intrusion is arising from adjacent side of next two metacarpals so it is arising from adjacent side of third and fourth one like this we'll use another color So this is the third one. Just for the clarity, we are using different colors here. Now it has no tendon. The tendon is inserted into. We have seen that the, the third dorsal intrusion is for the abduction of the middle finger towards the towards the this side. That is ulnar side. So it is also getting inserted into the dorsal digital expansion of the middle finger. So middle finger has two dorsal intrusia attached to its dorsal digital expansion. Middle finger is having two dorsal intrusia attached to it, which are they? the second and third dorsal intrusia is getting attached to the middle finger. This is because the middle finger has two abduction movement. One is towards the radial side, other is towards the ulnar side. So it is having two dorsal intrusia attachments. So what we are seeing here is the third dorsal intrusia. And the fourth one, the fourth one is for which finger? The fourth one is for this finger. The fourth one is for the ring finger. So it carries out the abduction of the ring finger that is away from the middle finger. Abduction of ring finger away from the middle finger. So it has to get inserted into this finger to cause it cause its abduction. So it is the fourth one is arising from the adjacent part of the fourth and fifth metacarpals like this fourth and fifth metacarpals now if you have a confusion regarding the insertion just think that this Fourth dorsal intrusion has to carry out abduction of the ring finger. So to carry out abduction of the ring finger, it has to get inserted into the ring finger. So it is getting inserted into the dorsal digital expansion of the ring finger. So that is the fourth, fourth dorsal intrusion, fourth one. So in total, we have four dorsal intrusion out of which the second and third is for the abduction of the middle finger but you can see from the diagram that there is no dorsal intrusion for the little finger because uh, in little finger this abduction is performed by the abductor digitae minimae alone there is no uh, intrusion causing abduction of the little finger so this for the little finger the abduction is performed by abductor digitae minimae and there is no abductor for this there is no dorsal intrusion causing abduction of the thumb because abduction of the thumb is performed by abductor pollicis itself so the dorsal intrusion is for the middle three fingers only we can see that dorsal intrusion is for the middle three fingers only so for the middle three fingers only there is no dorsal intrusion for the thumb and the little finger so middle fingers only so what is the function of this dorsal intrusion uh, action is 
it is causing abduction of middle three fingers middle three fingers so which are the middle three fingers these are the index finger middle finger and ring finger there is no dorsal indusia causing abduction of the thumb and little finger remember in this way the dorsal indusia is for the middle three fingers only so what is the nerve supply we have said that all the indusia whether it is palmar indusia or dorsal indusia these are being supplied by a single nerve that is the ulnar nerve so ulnar nerve is the nerve supply of the dorsal indusia so we have said that a mnemonic that pad pad means palmar indusia is causing ad that is adduction and dorsal indusia is causing what abduction so dorsal indusia causes abduction palmar indusia causes adduction so that is all about the dorsal indusia thank you for watching this video to see more videos from our channel please subscribe the channel thank you